Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the 808 Podcast. It's a podcast where we take business owners, CEOs, uh, marketing directors, anyone else that I feel like. It is four questions in eight minutes and eight seconds because 808 looks like Bob and here we go. Question number one, a few sentences, tell me who you are and what do you do? My name is Shobhana Vishwanathan and I live in Silicon Valley. I've lived and worked in the Bay Area for over 20 years now. I'm passionate about technology and marketing. And I um, also host a weekly podcast called The Change Alchemist, uh, which is centered around the future of work. And I'm really excited to be here, Bob. Total. Thank you so much, Shobana. I'm glad you'd be on as well. So question number two, what advice do you want to share? Go. So I have been struck with what a banner year we've had last year Mm -hmm. with COVID and all the changes we've seen. But I think the change um, we've seen is, is more an opportunity for all of us to reinvent ourselves in this exponential increasingly digital world. So one thing I've noticed in a digital world is that networking is really important. So I want to focus on networking with purpose. And one of the ways you could do it is, um, you know, you know, the saying in sales, always be closing ABC. I would say always be collaborating or always be connecting. And one way to do this is through one technique that I use very um, successfully, which is called the five minute favor. Um, It's uh, by, uh, you know, Adam uh, Rifkin, who actually wrote about it in his research. It's it's highly effective. So the way you do it is what takes you five minutes to help someone? Is it a LinkedIn recommendation? Is it a blog post? Do you just post something on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram that you think people will appreciate? Or do you help someone with, um, you know, somebody you know wants a job, you just help them? Just five minutes. And I think giving that just makes you so much more valuable. So Mm -hmm. the moment you provide value, I think people see you as a connector and you become interesting, important. And that's the way you increase your value in a digital world. The other thing you can also do is think of time as money. So think of every hour, uh, maybe you spend two hours a week and you spend it on meeting with someone new for coffee. So never have coffee with the same person, have coffee with someone new every week and spend five bucks on coffee. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is if you know someone that that could benefit from someone else, make an introduction. So that's the third way to do it. Look at increasing the number of LinkedIn connections or um, Twitter followers, you know, pick a number, five every week and um, just find people that you think are interesting and could help you and you could help connect with them and people want to be connected in this um, new uh, digital world. So right. I think networking with purpose is a big thing and I would highly encourage um, everyone to do it. Curtis, let me ask you this. So what have you done recently to increase your network other than being on this podcast? Because that's the easy answer. So um, for me, I think um, meeting podcast, um, new podcast guests and um, helping people. I've, I've been mentoring people. So that's something I've been doing from a networking perspective, I spend an hour every week mentoring a younger uh, leader um, just, just on things that they probably don't know when they're in their 20s or um, early 30s. So that's something I've done. I am also starting a newsletter, which I think uh, will help me network with the right people. Mm-hmm. So those are the two things I've done. Perfect. Love it there. Let's get to question number three. It is time for you to give shout outs. Go for it. So I would like to give a shout out to one of my uh, favorite authors and um, a person that I had on my podcast, um, Jeffrey Moore, who's written the book uh, Crossing the Chasm. It's been hugely inspirational and has helped me through my marketing and business career. So shout out to Jeffrey Moore, author of um, Crossing the Chasm and more recently Zone to Win. Perfect, perfect there. Now question number four, the final fun question. Shobana, tell me about your first sale. My first sale, believe it or not, was when I was 15, when I wrote a a short story and published it in a local newspaper in India where I was growing up. And so um, the thing about me is I love to write, but I never really made money from it. But Mm -hmm. the the first sale I ever did was through writing a book, writing a a short story. And subsequently, I have published some poetry and um, short stories and articles which have been uh, Uh, which I've sold as well. But that has led me to um, use those skills in other things like uh, doing deals with companies. When I worked in advertising, working on account uh, deals, 
So I think selling is important. Everyone needs to be selling, whether it's mm -hmm. yourself or a product. So um, really um, excited that that's what got me started in selling. Love it, love it there. So hey, Shobana, you've got three minutes and 11 seconds left. You can do some promo time. You can ask me a question. You can talk about the weather, whatever you want. Or since the best, no one to be concise, the one to end, we end early, go for it. So Bob, what got you started into podcasting? Uh, basically, I told my coach, I've always wanted to do a podcast. That was my first mistake. Because then she said, hey, you got to schedule your first episode in 24 hours. <laughs> and so I'm freaking out. So I don't even have a website yet, or I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. She said, that's why you have 24 hours to figure it out. Go. Yeah. And uh, if um, you were to pick someone to have uh, dinner with, who would that be? Uh, uh, to pick someone I have dinner with? Uh, gosh, the UK's worst, uh, you, hold, yeah, UK's worst salesperson. Who is that? You, you, uh, his name is the UK's worst sales coach. He's who I'd have lunch with. Benjamin, <laughs> that's his name. And why would you do that? Because I love his I love his sales style. Okay, cool. And how's the weather there? Weather is great and wonderful. So we have two minutes and 12 seconds left. You want to do some promo time real quick? Yes. So I'd like to uh, point people to my podcast, which is The Change Alchemist. Um, it has um, interviews with famous influencers, people that can actually help you navigate the future of work. The future of work is not really um, one job that you do for the rest of your life. It's gonna be a series of experiences. You can be the change you wanna see in the world. Everyone can be a change maker um, because life as we know it has changed. Um, people are working from home. The world is democratized. So right. pe people can do what they want from uh, their bedroom. So um, my podcast will help people actually navigate through the future of work. You can, you can be a gig worker, you can be an influencer, but it gives you a curated views from different people, um, whether it's a CEO, a CMO, marketing director, a neuroscientist, to help you navigate the future of work. And I would, exp I would love for um, everyone to go listen to a couple of episodes, which, uh, which, which I think uh, you'd find really interesting. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, pulled it off. Four questions in eight minutes and eight seconds. And why is it eight minutes and eight seconds? Because it looks like Bob. It does. Love it there. Hey, your website, say it real quick. TheChangeAlchemist.com. Perfect. It's in, yeah, it's in the description. It's magic there. So, Shavanna, thank you so much for being on. Tip of the hat to you. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. And for everyone else watching or listening, I am legally required to tell you to like, share, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, whatever the heck the social media network tells you to do. You all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.